Hi guys and welcome to my channel. As you all know, you can get the best power from your solar panels only 6 hours a day. That is, the 6 hours around noon from 9am to 3pm. Outside that time, the panels don't produce any meaningful power and no power is produced at night. So even for the most basic system to run 24 hours, you will need a proper solar battery storage system. That's why today's topic is on DIY power walls using the best batteries for solar power storage. First, I will discuss the pros and cons of lithium iron phosphate batteries and why I consider them the best batteries for solar power storage. Next, I will show you how to make your own DIY power wall by yourself. And at the end of the video, we will test this small battery storage system on this drill and see how powerful it is. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to answer them. Currently, the best batteries for solar power storage are lithium batteries, specifically lithium ion phosphate. Lithium batteries in general have a higher energy density and are capable of storing much more energy per kilogram than the common deep cycle lead acid battery. If we take the life cycles, for lithium ion phosphate at 80% depth of discharge is 2000 cycles, whereas lead acid batteries you can barely get 300. Even for lithium ion cells, it comes to around 800 cycles with the best batteries reaching around thousands. Remember, in solar applications you are going to have daily cycling since the battery is charged during the daytime and discharged at night. So for one year, you will go through 365 cycles if your system works 24 hours a day. Basically, the battery will last for one year if it's a lead acid battery and it should last for five years if it's lithium ion phosphate. The most important factor which made me go for lithium ion phosphate instead of lithium ion was safety. I know that you guys are like me. We want the best quality product for the lowest price but don't want something that's a fire hazard since most of us have a battery storage for solar either near or inside our house. The, check out this video by Bell Experiment Equipment which shows the nail penetration test on a lithium ion cell. In this video you can see even the slightest damage by a nail penetration can make the lithium ion cell explode into a ball of fire. But lithium ion phosphate cells tend to let out a lot of smoke than catch fire. That is why lithium ion phosphate is the best battery for solar power systems. The two main drawbacks are that they are more expensive than lead acid batteries and that they need this BMS, the battery management system, to properly manage the battery setup. But the longer life cycles and deeper discharge still makes this the best battery for solar panels. Now let's now we will see how to assemble this DIY power wall. As you can see here, each cell is rated at 3.2 volts and its capacity is 6000 mAh, that is 6 amperes. Now what I have done here is I have connected 4 cells in series to achieve a voltage of 12.8 volts and there are 2 sets here which gives a capacity of 12 amperes. What the BMS does is, it basically prevents the this set from overcharging, over discharging and it helps to balance each adjacent cell to the same voltage, thereby prolonging the life of this power wall. As you can see, connecting these wires, connecting large wires to this uh, board unless you have good soldering skills, it's going to be a headache. So I would recommend you to get a BMS which already has all its wires connected. 
Right. So we're going to do a small test and see how powerful this is. So now we will test this DIY power ball using this power drill here. Okay, I hope you can see this. Take this cord, plug it in here. On the inverter. Yeah, I hope you can see the voltage. The voltage here is shown here is 13 volts. These batteries are fully charged. Okay, let's test it. That is the power of lithium ion phosphate. You can add supercapacitors to this setup to make it even more powerful. So this is what makes lithium ion phosphate the best battery storage for solar power systems. For anyone interested in buying the products which I'm showing in my videos, I'll be adding an Amazon link down in the description below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it among your friends. Also, if you have any specific ideas you want me to make a video on, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.